Hey guys, um, it's me here. So today I thought I would do a makeup tutorial, so let me just, just get started. For the look that I'm going to create, it's just like, um, your everyday into your night, um, makeup routine or whatever. Okay, so I'm going to start with my foundation. I'm using the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse Foundation in Classic Ivory number, like, two. And I'm running out, so this is what it looks like normally. It's really good, and I'm just going to use my stippling brush to apply it. Sorry, I'm just trying to find some music. And I find if you do it in like a circular motion, it comes out a lot more natural looking than if you just like apply it otherwise. I don't know how else you would do it, but I don't know. Just something I've figured out throughout the years of doing it. Um, so that's what the finish looks like with that. Um, next thing I'm going to do is take my concealer and just apply it underneath my eyes to brighten up my eyes. And then I just use my finger to blend that in. Oh, and sorry that I'm like, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm in a sports bra because it's really hot outside, so... And then, um, also use the concealer on any blemishes. Next, I'm going to take my bronzer and just apply it on my face. I'm using my, um, Luminaire brush looks like this and this is my bronzer it's NYC um, smooth skin bronzing face powder in the shade sunny 720a looks like this remember to blend it down into your neckline so you don't get like the orange mask looking this. Next I'm going to take my blush and this is, um, I don't know, Milani or something? I don't know. Um, it's in Pink Glitter Glamour, Glamour, I can't read apparently, in shade 106. It looks like this. The top had broken out, that's why I like, didn't know. I can't find my um, blush brush, so I'm just using my powder brush. It looks like this. But I only use it on the ends and then right on your um, cheekbone. And build it up towards your temples. Next, I'm going to use, once again, I don't know the name of it because I've had it for so long and the label has fallen off, but 
I'm just going to take this brush that I have, just a shadow brush, and apply it all over my lids. And the color looks like this. It's a nice champagne goldish color. Love it. And it's good um, because you can use wear it during the day or at night. And at night, you can just like obviously define it a little bit more. I'm just going to do it in a windshield wiper motion. So then it looks like this. Which is very nice. And then um, with my angle brush. Ooh, I'm just close that in wrong. I'm going to take my Avon palette, looks like this, and I'm going to take the darker brown, so this color right here, oh, I'm give me that in the shot, and um, just apply it on the outer um, corner of your eye in like a V shape. So you want to line your a lash line and then make it into a V, and then bring it into your crease and do the same on the other side then I'm going to take where's my brush? Uh, oh I found them and I can find another one I'm going to just take my fluffy angle brush and um, blend it out. So it's not as harsh and um, gives it a little bit more definition. So, next thing you're going to do, oh, uh, wait, wait, yeah, next thing you're going to do, um, you're going to take a white, um, not completely matte, but not sh overly shimmery either, um, above your brow bone, so I'm going to use this, like, white color. It's very nice. It has a little bit of a shimmer in it, but not, like, overpowering shimmer. And I'm just going to take my flat, um, eyebrow brush and, uh, eyeshadow brush, no, eyebrow brush, and apply it right to my brow bone. And doing that, um, it just like makes your eyes appear so much brighter and more vivid and I don't know. I just really like it. So that's why I do that. And then you're gonna do the same on the other side. And then um with your angle brush. Um, you're going to take the same color and put it in your tear duct to open your eyes. And there's that. Um, next you're going to take your favorite eyelash color. Eyelash curler. Can't speak. Sorry about that. Uh, and mine's just from Icings. Like, I think it was no more than five bucks, but it actually works really well. I really like it. So I use that. And I just do like four or five pumps and then I open it and go a little bit higher up and do that again. And then same on the other side. And then you want to apply your favorite mascara. I love the Culver Girls Volume Lash Blast. Oh, best mascara by far. One of my favorites. The wand looks like this. It's very good, and I find it to um, define your lashes. Like you could definitely wear these as like people would think that they're fake lashes. They're very good. And 
I don't think it clumps that bad. So, I mean, it clumps a little bit. Like, it's clumping right now only because I had makeup on before. And my perfume preference eyeliner is hard to clump. I know, eyeliner, mascara. Okay, so this is just your daytime look. And then the only thing that I do differently when I go out is um, I apply uh, eyeliner on my top lash line to define it a little bit and I give it a little bit of a wing. So that's what I'm going to do and yeah, I don't know. So, And you want to get as close to your lash line as possible and try to make it as straight as can. It's kind of hard. Um, I use uh, this. It's the in color dab liner and it looks like a marker it's liquid eyeliner I love it it's so good and it's I find it a lot easier also like I have small eyelids so like when I blink uh, the liquid liner it usually doesn't dry fast enough and I get like up on my crease line which is so annoying but and as you go out to your outer corner you want to make it thicker I find it a lot easier to start the wing. So there is that, and then you're just gonna apply it. I like, and then also I do another pump or two of my eyelash curricular to just give it even more definition. Hold on one second, I'm making a video! Sorry. And then you just apply a mascara. And that's it. Oh, and then you can buy your lip. I don't really wear lip product. But this is the... Hold on! This is the finishing look. Glad you like it. And I'll see you next time.